Hey, what's going on everybody? So I want to share a little something with you guys today. It's about the Spark Amp by Positive Grid. I'm sure a lot of you all are familiar with the Spark Amp now. Uh, it's been out for a little over a year and it's a great little amp. It's a 40 watt practice amp that runs uh, with an app via Bluetooth and you can get access to pretty much any tone that you could possibly imagine. Uh, some come factory built in and there are tones that you can download from the tone cloud. And the amp itself has some really killer onboard tones uh, from clean sounds to acoustic sounds and it's even compatible with bass players as well because there is uh, a bass setting on there so you can plug your bass in and get those really cool bass tones as well as the ones you can find in the app. But today I want to share a little bit uh, on how you can actually use this amp with speaker cabinets. Now I've seen a lot of comments and, and questions on various forums on social media of can I use this amp with uh, my half stack? Can I use it with uh, another amp? And the answer is yes, you can. But let me show you the, the best way how you can possibly do this because you know there is no line out on this on this amp. This amp is really not designed for half stacks or for even for live performance or at least more like stage performance with with bigger bands and, and larger shows but you can actually get away with uh, using it with your cabinets and produce a lot larger volume of sound than you would get coming out of the amp and I'm gonna show you so the leading question is how can I plug the spark amp to run sound out of my speaker cabinets well, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. You can use an existing amp head that you already have from a half stack. Um, you can use a combo amp. What I like to use is this unit right here. This is the 44 Magnum by Electro Harmonics. Now this tiny pedal sized unit, this is strictly a power amp. What? That's right, it's a power amp. Even though it's 44 watts, this thing punches sound. I mean, I think, if you turn this up all the way, I think the walls will shatter. That's how loud this thing can, can be. Uh, now I plugged this unit into a two x 12 cabinet, ran my processor directly through it. And let me tell you, it, it was amazing. I think this is the answer to my prayers. Um, I did a video on this, uh, on this unit a while back. I'll put a link in the description. You can check it out. So with any power amp, you would need an existing preamp. But this is where you're in luck because the Spark Amp already has a preamp built inside. It's got all your EQs, all your tone settings, everything you need. Just like the processor that I plugged into here, it has a built-in preamp. So all I did was just plug it directly. The sound came right out of the cabinets and, you know, it, it was golden. So what can I say? Now you can use, like I said, an amp head which has a built-in preamp as well, so you can get access to more EQ settings, uh, more effect settings, uh, but you know, with the Spark Amp, the fact that you can get access to pretty much any tone you want, why need it? But this is a, a nice little device. Uh, this can fit in a gig bag, or if you're bringing the Spark Amp to say a rehearsal studio, or say a live show that has a backline on stage, and if you want to use the Spark Amp, this could fit right in with your amp as well. So, and not only would you need this, but you would also need this particular cable. You got a quarter inch jack here, and the other end, eighth inch auxiliary headphone jack. And the reason why is because you have to plug this cable from the headphone input into the input of your power amp. So just think of it like, basically your speaker cabinet just turned into one giant headphone. So when you plug your headphones into the headphone jack, you're gonna get the output coming out of the speakers which go over your ears. In this case, it's just a larger item. So your speaker cabinet just becomes one giant headphone. And that's really about it. So I'm gonna walk you through this setup so you can see how it's all connected. And then I'm gonna demonstrate it by playing a little something on my guitar and you'll hear how the sound outputs from your speaker cabinet. So we have our Spark Amp right here, and I am going to be using this Ampeg 2x12 cabinet that I have. I have my uh, 4x12 sitting right next to, uh, right there behind my guitar. Uh, but we're gonna use this right now, um, and believe me, it's, it's gonna be loud enough. But here, let me show you how it's all connected. 
So I have my auxiliary cable plugged into the headphone jack, which runs all the way into the input of my power amp. And then I got my speaker cable running from the output straight into the cabinet. Now this unit has no on-off switch, it's just direct plug and play. And the only other features on here are the volume knob and you have a bright switch as well. Your normal and uh, bright switch in case you want to add more brightness to your tone. Alright, so now you know how it's all connected. I walk you through the whole process. Now I got my guitar. Now all I got to do is just pick a tone to run out of the spark amp and you'll hear how it sounds. All right, so I'm just gonna play a couple of chords for you. You're gonna hear the sound coming out of the output of the cabinet. Now, just keep in mind, once you plug that cable into the headphone jack, just like if you were to plug regular headphones, you're no longer gonna get sound coming out of the output of the spark amp. It's gonna come out of wherever source that you plugged uh, from the headphone jack, in, whether it's the headphones or whether it's a bigger, bigger speaker. Okay, so here's my power amp. So uh, I don't really need to touch any of the volume controls on the spark amp itself. Um, I can just, sorry, I can just use uh, the volume on my guitar and this would basically be like your master knob right here. So See how loud that gets? Now this volume setting is basically around seven, between seven and eight o'clock. So you can see right here, the sound is no longer coming out of the spark. Actually, if I turn the volume down from the power amp, that's coming from right here. So there you go. Now you know how you can connect the Spark amp to run sound out of your speaker cabinet. Now the only downside to this is the spark amp doesn't have its own foot switch, no pedal control, nothing. I mean, yeah, you can plug in your pedal board to the amp itself or you can use a processor. Uh, but, you know, given the tones that the spark amp provides and of course the tones from the app, you know, why would you need anything else? So maybe one day Positive Grid is gonna come up with something where we can use with the spark amp, get access to switching tones from distortion to clean. Now, I understand uh, there are several Facebook groups out there that talk about uh, modding this amp and building custom devices to go along with the amp so you can, uh, so you can basically uh, create your own foot switch. So I don't really know how that's done, so I wish I could tell you, but I've seen people build custom foot switches before uh, for this unit. So, but yeah, check it out. But anyway, the, uh, all I wanted to show you is how you can run the Spark Amp uh, out of your speaker cabinets. And like I said, you could use any, any amp source you want as long as it's got a power amp and a preamp. Uh, but again, you don't need the preamp because the Spark Amp already has the preamp built in. So I recommend the 44 Magnum. The 44 Magnum is awesome. It's just direct, direct power source. You could just take it anywhere, plug it into a PA system and run your Spark Amp out of there. It's, it's awesome. So, well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, any more videos, um, I'll be posting real soon. So until then, I'll see you later.